जी थ्री वन सेवन वन प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग एंड पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग लेबोरेटरी एक्सरसाइज नंबर वन फ्लो चार्ट वॉट इज फ्लो चार्ट ए फ्लो चार्ट इज अ डायग्रामेटिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ एन अलगोरदम अलगोरदम इज अ सीक्वेंस ऑफ फाइन स्टेप्स फॉर सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम Let's see what are the symbols used for flow chart. First one terminal symbol. This symbol indicates the starting or ending of the program. Input or output symbol. Parallelogram. This denotes the input and output operation also referred to as a data symbol. This shape represents data that is available for input or output. Process symbol rectangle this indicates any type of internal operations like initialization calculation. Decision symbol diamond this indicates question to be answered usually yes or no. or true or false for example are you online the answer can be either yes or no connector or link round symbol connectors are used to connect breaks in the flow chart like labeled pair to link process section on the same page off page link or connector this indicates continues on another page control flow the arrow shows the direction of flow document symbol this represents the input and output of a document database symbol This represents data house on the storage service that will likely allow for searching and filtering by users. Merge symbol combines multiple paths to become one. Multiple document symbol represents multiple documents or reports. Display symbol the information to be displayed in any manner such as screen or printer predefined process symbol this denotes a predefined sub program used to invoke a sub routine manual input symbol data or command entry done manually manual operation symbol indicates a step that must be done manually not automatically delay symbol waiting period during which there is no activity sort symbol ordered item sequentially flow chart rules flow chart is to generally drawn from top to bottom all boxes of flow chart must be connected with arrow all flow chart start with the terminal or process symbol decision symbol have two exit points one for s yes, that is true and another one for no false let's see the exercise first one electricity billing first we want to start start the flow chart by using terminal symbol flow line take the input as a unit unit value will be the input next the decision making we got the as a unit as a input right the you yeah, want to check the condition whether the unit is less than or equal to 
then we are giving there is a two arrow that is a two exit points s yes and no if it is yes what will happen the process is amount is equal to unit into zero the charge will be amount into 0 0.20 so already the amount is 0 so the subsidy charge also will be 0 if this condition comes false we will move to next one next decision checking the unit is less than or equal to 150 if it is yes amount is equal to 25 minus unit minus 50 into 0 0.75 subsidy charge will be amount into 0 0.20 if this condition is no the next decision checking unit is less than or equal to 250 if it is true that amount is equal to 100 minus unit minus 150 into 1 1.20 Subsidy charge that is equal to amount into 0 0.20. If this condition fails, it is no, then amount is equal to 220 plus unit plus 250 into 1.50. If the yes came, if it is true while executing, directly it will move to here. So that the arrow mark indicates that the next total amount is equal to amount plus subsidy charge and finally the output will be the amount then stop the program. This is a electricity billing flowchart. Next one retail shop billing. Press start. Then control flow, then input we taken as that is a uh, item cast and quantity. The next input rate, what is the rate of that item? Then you want to check the condition. If the rate is greater than 1000, if it is yes, the process is tax is equal to rate into 10 if the condition comes no then tax is equal to rate into 5 then finally the output will be item cost tax and then item cost plus tax then stop the program this is a flow chart for retail shop billing third one sign series the sign series formula is sin x equal to x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x power 5 by 5 factorial minus x power 7 by 7 factorial. That's going on. So we want to start the program. Then control flow. Then read x and n. x is a value and n will be the total number of counters. How many terms are there? That is here x is one term, x cube by 3 factorial is one term. And x power 5 by 5 factorial is another one term. The next x power 7 by 7 factorial is one term. So we want to know how many terms are there. We want to decide how many terms you want to take. Whether you want to take first 25 terms of the sign series. Set the loop. The counter will count automatically. So if you want to draw the flowchart very easily, you want to understand the concept. What is the process we are going to do? 
then only you can easily write the flow chart right next you want to declare the counter value that is i is equal to 1 then control flow in sin x the value will be in degree it wants to be converted to radius for that we are using this formula it is x is equal to x into 3.142 which is divided by 180. After this calculation, we want to assign a value. That is x value is assigned to the term t. And then the sum. Sum is x starting value. That is also x, right? So the sum is equal to x. Next, use the loop. Can you... You can use a for loop or while loop. The condition is if i is less than or equal to n. i value already given i is equal to 1 which is less than or equal to n. If the condition is true, you want to calculate this. That is uh, the next term you want to calculate. For that this formula you want to apply that is t is equal to minus t into x into x which is divided by 2 into i into 2 into i plus 1, right? Next control flow, next sum is equal to sum plus t. Already the sum value is x, this is a starting one. And next the t value is calculated. So we want to add both, that will be the sum. Next Next, i is equal to i plus 1. The i value will be incremented by 1. So, now the i value will be 2. Then the loop will be executed until it comes false. If the loop comes false, then suddenly it will come to next one. That is a print, sum will be printed. Then stop the program. This is a flowchart for sign series. Next, weight of the steel bar. Start. Control flow. Read the density. There is a D. And volume, V. Control flow. Compute weight is equal to D into V. Control flow. The output will be the display weight. Control flow. Then stop the program. So I hope you all understood very well about the flowchart and how to draw the flowchart easily. Thank you.